My name is Jane Parsons Fine, and I take great pleasure in inviting you into the room with Milton H. Erickson, MD. I'd like to tell you how this all came about. I was in Mount Sinai Hospital, been there in the Department of Psychiatry for about five years, and I came upon Milton Erickson in a book by Jay Haley, Uncommon Therapy. There was a case in that book of a suicidal 21-year-old, very depressed young girl came to Erickson and said that she was going to kill herself if she didn't begin to feel better. He made a deal with her that was so innovative, creative, human, and worked so beautifully with her. Of course, she didn't commit suicide in the end. And so then and there I decided I'm going. I'm going to find him and I'm going to study with him. Five years later, 1979, I'm sitting three feet in front of Milton Erickson in the little room next to his office. I'm looking at his face. I'm looking into his eyes. I'm hearing his voice. He told case after case after case. And these case histories turned into not just case histories, but somehow life itself. I felt this mysterious stirring deep inside me when I was listening to him. And of course, now I know I was in trance. He was asked by one of the students, it's in our DVDs, did he go in and out of trance when he was working with us? And he said, yes, he did. And that was how he brought us into this wonderful exchange of unconscious connection, impeccable use of language to trip us or trip me. I felt like I felt tripped into one state after another. Erickson lived with his own unconscious with such an ability to trust that you couldn't not trust yourself as you felt yourself moving into different states. So after the two weeks, I went home and began to change my whole life. Quick decisions, easy, comfortable, things that I never had dreamed of. I realized also that I had to put this on, on film. So I called him up. I asked him, could I please come again? He graciously and generously gave me his permission. So here I was again, sitting right in front of the great man, again watching him, this time behind the video. And what a responsibility I felt. So that's how it all came about. Erickson called unconscious, the vast treasure chest of millions of memories and thoughts and feelings that you've had all your life, and they're uniquely your own. Erickson lived with it, conversed with it, and had the ability to segue into anybody's unconscious that he worked with. What I want to suggest to you to look for in these tapes is his use of silence, his use of the beats of silence. Some of the most important moments in our lives are in those moments of silent communication with someone, some music, something. He recognized the connection that can be made between two people on unconscious levels. Those are the moments that make our lives full. Those are the moments we always remember. We respond to each other and we change each other, often without being aware that what we say and how we say it has such a profound influence on another person. I'd like to end this with a quote from Kate Thompson, who worked with Erickson for many, many years. And she said, 
you know many things that you don't know that you know. But when you need to know them, you can go into trance and discover that you knew them all along. So this is a gift I was given by Erickson and many of the people who worked with him. And I'd like to share it with you. Thank you. <laughs>